Greetings, what's going on YouTube? It's Ben from Stillwork, and we're here in Samplitude Pro X6 to take a look at two different approaches to spot tuning in Waves Tune. Okay, I'm in a song here from the band Stare Down the Sun, and what we've got is a completely tuned vocal here in purple. So with this track, we are completely tuned in Waves Tune. This is the one that went out to the album. But what if we wanted to just tune a couple of different notes? If our singer was pretty good, or it was a very natural recording and we wanted to maintain that, and we only wanted to zero in on a couple of specific words or a couple of specific sections, what's a good approach to that? Well, let's take a look at this track up here in blue. This is a raw version of the vocal. So if we've got that track and we want to spot tune just a couple of parts and leave it 90% untouched, what's a couple of good approaches that we could do? Uh, number one, we could throw Waves Tune on here. We could analyze this track. And then we could use our ratio control to leave all of these vocals untouched. The way to do that is to select all and then reduce the ratio to zero. So at this point here, we have an analyzed vocal, but we're not going to get any tuning processing on there. And you can see with the segments, the corrected line is back to zero. If I get in a little bit closer, you can see... On the segments, you can see our corrected line in green and it returning back to the original one at 0%. So with this, we have a 0% corrected vocal. Every second burns, but I will be or a completely turn tuned vocal. Let's get our key on there. This song is in D natural minor. I'm going to grab D and natural minor. And because we were selected, fully selected, that's going to apply that to all of those segments. So now we have a tune vocal, and what if we wanted to just grab a couple of these and tune them? We can choose a, a specific segment, and then just use our percentage to return to a tuned item in there. So these segments that are unselected are going to stay at 0% uh, correction ratio. And the ones that we select and increase our ratio, we can use as tuned items. So let's take a listen to that. Every second burns, but I will be heard. And then we have that one word tuned. Okay, so let's take a look at a second approach to that. We're going to select all, clear our selection, and we're actually going to remove tune from this track. Now I've got two ways that I can do this by molting it out to a separate track. I can slice the words individually like this. But I will be I'm gonna select, split. I'm going to lock my edits here and move that to a second track. On the second track, we're gonna make sure that we have the same routing in place so it's going through a bus processing for the vocal processing. The actual tracks are unprocessed. They're just being sent to a bus down here. Now we have this word split out. And we can simply apply tune to this track. Analyze it on that track alone. And then everything that we drop down to this track will go through tune. Everything that's on the original track marked raw is going to not be processed. So anything we drop down will be analyzed on the first pass, and then we can go in there and take a quick peek. Okay, so a quick recap on two different approaches to doing selective tuning or spot tuning using Waves Tune is to malt out to a separate track just the slices that you want to tune, or to use the correction percentage ratio to take the entire vocal down to 0% and then use selections to tune in after you've analyzed them. All right, so thanks so much for watching. I'll send you out with a little bit of uh, Stare Down the Sun here.